So my finger's in the toaster, right? The burrito is half burnt, and my dog is puking all over the floor. And may I add, the house is on fire itself at the time. My mom's going crazy. <coughs> Stop! <coughs> Water choking. It is a serious yet common issue, often overlooked by the public. It is easily prevented, as we have learned over the years. To ever suffer from water choking was the water buffalo. The first person to ever suffer from water choking was George von Liebenschwitz. George von George von Liebenschwitz. Von Liebenschwitz. From from uh, from Schwitzer. Schwitzer what? Schwitzerania. Schwitzerania. As George von Ravenschwitz was choking to death, bless his soul, he wrote down the symptoms of water chokage in this very notebook. Symptom number one, you cannot breathe. Symptom number two, it is difficult to breathe. Symptom number three, the airways, causing difficulty of breathing. <laughs> Symptom number four, death. <laughs> Let's throw it to an expert, <laughs> Megan Brady, DHP. She has dedicated her life to studying water children. There are even sonograms of her studying in the womb. And little did Bethesda know, she was destined for greatness. Here's what not to do. First things first, never give them more water. This will only make it worse. <laughs> drink, drink, drink! <laughs> Secondly, do not insult them. This will only provoke them to choke you as well. Stop! Do not try to remove the water by hand. Oh, no! Open wide! Ah! And lastly, don't panic. Get it together! <laughs> breathe! Breathe! Come on! Listen to me! I'm here! Oh my gosh, what do I do? Stop joking! Ah! But, Dr. Megan, what do you do? Make her stop choking. Wow, knowledge is power cured. Congratulations, Doctor of the Year Award claps for you.